Let's talk about changing prices in Sage 50. If you only have a few items that you want to change, you can go to the Maintain menu, go to Inventory Items, and just pick the items that you want and change the prices, no big deal. But if you want to change prices for an entire product line or worse, your entire inventory, that's not going to be a very efficient way to do it. So in that case, you want to go back to the Maintain menu and choose Item Prices. First, you'll get this window here that lets you filter your selections. You can choose by item class, so that's you know, stock, non-stock, serial, etc. Um, and then as well as by a range of item IDs or by any of these other um, criteria here. And you can use as many of those as you need to get it filtered down to just the group you want. I'm just going to choose stock items for now. And we'll click OK. And here we get this list. So once you're in here, you can refine it further by deselecting individual items to get down to just the group you want. I'm going to go ahead and mark them all selected again. And also this window is stretchable so you can make it bigger uh, so you'll be able to see more of what you're working on. Now um, once you're in here you can also deselect price levels that you don't want to work on right now. That way you can get just the ones that you want. And once you've chosen your price levels, then you come over here to select the method of adjustment. The first one here levels current calculation and new cost information. Uh, you would use that if you've gone through um, each inventory item and set a pricing formula for that specific item, and you want to use that to recalculate, you would use this. Especially like if you know your costs have changed and you've based formulas on cost plus a markup. Um, that would be your your option there. Or the second one, levels default calculation, that would ignore any formulas you set up on each item and would use the company-wide defaults that you've set for each price level to recalculate your prices. Or what we're going to look at in more detail today, here we have calculations selected below. This first option, no calculation, you would use if you wanted to manually change prices and just have this spreadsheet style screen to do it in. Um, but you can also base a new price on last cost or current price. We're going to choose current price. And then here you can see we can increase it by a percent or an amount or we can decrease by a percent or an amount. Let's say we want to raise all of our prices by 5%. So we'll choose an increase by percent and we'll put 5 over here. Now we can make a choice for rounding too. You can see that all our prices are 99 cents, so let's preserve that. So we'll say we want to round to a specific cent and we'll put in 0.99. And now we can click the recalculate button and it recalculates all of our prices. We can see the before price and the after price right there. Now if you don't like it, um, you could go through and make changes by hand. Um, or you could uh, come back up here, change your parameters, maybe make that 6% and recalculate and you would see your new prices. If you decide you just plain want to start over, you can click the close button, don't save your changes, and then you'll start fresh again next time. We'll put those back at 5% and recalculate. Now another thing you can do is uh, maybe you want to uh, make different changes to different price levels. So I could select everything except price level 1 and calculate that at 5%. Then maybe I'll switch to price level 2 and I only want to mark that up by 4%. And maybe I want to change these prices to end in 98 cents so that when I'm looking at the price I'll know which level it comes from. And we could do the same thing working our way across. Uh, setting each price level the way we want it. And so um, if you want to, you could print out a report to let you review this. It'll show you all the items with the before price and the after price. Um, you still can't leave this window though without losing your work. Um, you know, because if you close it, you have to choose to accept your prices uh, your, your new prices or or just dump all the work that you've, that you've done here. Uh, but once you've got everything set the way you want it, you click the Save button and that's going to um, put all that new pricing into effect immediately. Um, there's no way to save it. 
and you know do it at the end of the month or something like that this is a, a real-time process right here so just save it that updates your prices and you're ready to go for until next time